Hey you, it's lc.blogspot.com and today I'm doing my very first empties video. I had no idea this was a thing, that's why I rely on you guys to tell me that stuff. But before I begin, I want to ask you to please, please, please support the giveaways that I have on my blog. Share them with your friends, share them with your family. Because one of the reasons that I do giveaways is kind of like my little way of giving back to you guys. So if you don't support them, I won't be able to do them anymore. And even if you don't like the prizes, which I personally like all of them or I wouldn't be giving them away, they, they make great gifts for Christmas, birthdays, whatever, or a little treat for yourself. So to enter, you can just search for giveaways or you can click the giveaway keyword, which is on the left hand side of the page and once again thank you guys so so much so I've got my bag of empty stuff and let's get started first up I have pure acetone and I got this from Sally's I've never had a problem using acetone on my nails and I will be repurchasing this, this is the summer's Eve Island splash cleansing wash I was sent this for review and it absolutely works it smells great I've even used it to wash my face it's for sensitive areas and I have sensitive skin, but um, it worked. I would highly recommend it. Next up, I have the e.l.f. brush cleaner. Review this. I've had this for a really long time, and it's fine, but I don't think I'll be purchasing it again. And we have some body wash from Good, which is a division of Burt Bees. This is in Paranormal Activity. I will send this for review. It smells great. It works well and it's a scent that you can really really smell it in the shower but it's not going to be overpowering and I would purchase this. But you know how much I love the discontinued Sun Silk Straighten Up. I've talked about it so many times it's ridiculous and I don't I'm not an advocate for using discontinued um, expired products. The reason I love it and I don't even know why I'm putting this in this video since I can't repurchase it. but. It's the only product I found that not only straightens my, because my hair is um, naturally wavy, but it's a frizzy wavy, so it's not like a cute beachy wave. I have to put something in it. And by the way, this is like day five hair, so if I look uh, really crappy, if it looks oily or something, that's why. Uh, anyway, that's nasty. Is that gross? But I have really dry hair, so I don't need to wash it every day. It's the only product I found that straightens my hair and alleviates frizz but still allows me to curl it. So that's why I like this and of course I would repurchase it if it still existed. Next are some samples that were sent to me from Balmasense. I don't know what happened to the other bottle. I imagine a certain Morky named Charlie Brown, um, who's at daycare by the way, which means like 90% of you are going to shut the video off now. And the doctor that created this was for people who had like compromised immune systems and it, she wanted gentle products that wouldn't hurt anyone. So I was sent a uh, shampoo and conditioner which I've already reviewed on the blog. If you have oily hair you're going to love this because it is a or if you just want to clarify on shampoo I would recommend these. These are in mango scent but she has other scents including unscented. But for me because I have super dry hair it just stripped it the moisture out and it was just Plum awful, so I have used it instead to um, shave my legs with. For me, I would not purchase this. Oily hair, or if you don't want to have to wash your hair every day, you might want to check it out. Bioderma! First found out about this product when I was in Paris a long, long, long time ago, and it's one of those like I dreamed of it ever since. I've since found it on Amazon, so I'll peri periodically like buy a bunch and then use it. If you want a gentle, makeup remover. It feels like water, it has no smell to it, and it's great for sensitive skin, sensitive eyes. Like I have a lot of eye makeup removers sting my eyes, so um, this is really good to use. It is very pricey. If you wear very, very thick eye makeup, you probably won't like this for your eye makeup. I would suggest a separate remover for that, um, but it works all over for me because I don't do like crazy intense looks for the most part. Bioderma is from France. <laughs> the Beauty Cleanser Solid. Oh my gosh, there's individual lashes on there. Ooh. So, yeah, it's essentially a soap and you use this to clean your beauty blender or makeup sponge since those can be so stubborn. But um, I've used it also for really, really thick creams on my brushes. I try to make my own and it hasn't, I haven't like quite figured out the formula yet. I can pretty much try to dupe anything, but this I haven't really gotten the formula. But it smells like lavender. I have since repurchased it and... It works. In my Hope Look Summer Essentials bag or something that I ordered for 20 bucks, I think this amazing little cream came in it, which I have completely used up. It was an AHA cream, and I'll put the information right here because I don't remember it. 
but it is so good. It really worked. It made my skin softened and it renewed it and, and all that stuff. So I would recommend this. AHA cream. And it's my favorite full coverage foundation, this drugstore. Revlon Color Stay Whipped. This is in the shade True Beige, which is a little bit, I'm not that dark anymore since the summer is over. It's really, it's like in the 80s today and it's October. Come on, Atlanta, get with the program. But I love this, absolutely would repurchase it. I have repurchased it. And then finally we have mascaras. First of all, I have the Rocket Mascara. I love this stuff. I know a lot of people are like, oh, they hate it because it's too wet. Give it a couple weeks, allow it to dry out. And I think you really will like it, but this is what the wand looks like. It's pretty much dried out for me. It's one of the few mascaras that I like the waterproof version of. So it's a good one if you want big voluminous lashes. Next we have the Rimmel Glam Eyes. This I bought for a tutorial that I was going to do on Zoe Deschanel's like doll eyes look, and I never did it. So um, if you want to see that, let me know and I can do that. But this is what the wand looks like. If you have decent lashes like me and you want just like natural lash day, this is a good one to have. It didn't clump up or anything like that. I really liked the brush on it. And if you have thinner lashes or smaller lashes, you might want to check this out. Would not repurchase this. Another Rimmel mascara I have is the Scandalize Curve Alert. I like the formula. It reminds me of Scandalize. I just, I'm not good with these brushes. I don't like the way that they work out. So I ended up using my own spoolie for the most part. So, um, I would not purchase this again. Showtime from NYC. This is three dollars and it's kind of hard to find. People have noticed how good it is. Like I like it but I don't purchase it that often because it does dry out super fast but it's a great cheap way if you want to get some volume and that's what the brush looks like. And finally I have the I Love Extreme from Essence and I got this at Ulta for like three or four dollars. This is great. Again, it's another wet mascara, but I love my wet mascaras for volume. That's what the brush looks like. I would repurchase this. I would repurchase this, but not anytime soon. There are mascaras that I like better, but three bucks, it's not a bad mascara at all. So that's my first empties video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have an empties video, let me know so I can check it out. And have a great day. Be safe, behave, and be well. Love, Elle. Pumpkins!